Are you trying to come up with new content ideas for your website? In today's video, I'll teach you how you could do keyword research to find an unlimited flow of content ideas to write about. So let's get started. When I do keyword research for content ideas, I always use Keywords Everywhere. So this is a browser add-on for keyword research, and you can install this for either Chrome or Firefox, okay? So the first step is for you to install this browser add-on, and the next step is to go to Google. So let's just say we have a yoga website and we're trying to find new content ideas. So the next step is for you to just type in a general keyword. I typed in yoga poses. Keywords Everywhere gives us some very helpful widgets on the right hand side. When looking for content ideas, I like to look at the widgets with the keywords in them. This first widget is a list of trending keywords. So if you want to publish content that's currently trending, this is the widget to take a look at. For all of these keywords, you can see their respective search volume. Now, this comes from the Google Keyword Planner. You can see the average cost per click for Google Ads, the competition score for Google Ads, and you can see how much these trending keywords have increased over the past 30 days. So you could see these keywords here definitely have increased quite a bit. You can create content for many of these, right? So hard yoga poses for two, acro yoga poses, yoga poses for bloating, and so on. The next widget I like to look at is the related keywords widget. There are two related keywords yoga poses for beginners, and also standing yoga poses for beginners. So you could create an article for this one and also for this one. The search volume is quite good and they are very relevant. And as I scroll down, you could see there are six keywords that people also search for. So this gives you some really good insight into what other topics people are searching for. This tells me that people want to find yoga poses that they could do with their partner, right? So yoga poses for two, for beginners, for three, and so on. And the last one is the long tail keywords. This is my personal favorite because there are keywords here that you possibly might not have even thought about. For example, yin yoga poses, uh, that one have I haven't thought about, and that one has over 4,000 searches a month. Restorative yoga poses, that one has over 4,000 searches a month as well, and so on. So this widget has about 26 keywords. Now, if you want more long tail keywords, just scroll all the way to the top and click on this button right here. Find long tail keywords for yoga poses. When you click on this, Keywords Everywhere will find you all the long tail keywords. So it found close to 1000 long tail keywords. You could see all the long tail keywords right here. You can see their respective search volume, the average cost per click for Google Ads, the competition score for Google Ads, and you could see the exact search volume for every single month over the past year and the trending percentage right here. You can analyze this list and start brainstorming some content ideas. So what really stands out is the number two. So yoga poses for two, two yoga poses, yoga poses for two people. So that tells me that this topic is extremely popular. So my first content I would probably write about is uh, yoga poses for two people. Keywords Everywhere allows you to star the keywords as well that you could save to your favorites list. You can also save this table as well. So you can either copy this information, save this as an Excel file, CVS, PDF, or even print it out. So I'm gonna click on copy. I'm gonna open up my Excel document and paste it. So now I have the close to 1000 long tail keywords for yoga poses. Now it has all of the respective data for every single one of the keywords right here. And you essentially have months worth of content that you can produce just with this single list. Now, if this is not enough for you, I like to go back to Google and analyze the keywords in the search results page. There are three things I like to look at. I like to look at the SERP features. So you could see here, Google is listing out all of the yoga poses on the very top. So you could talk about these yoga poses in your blog articles. I also like to look at the page titles 
and the people also ask section for keyword modifiers that stand out to me. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm just gonna um, do a control find and I'm highlighting yoga pose, okay? So uh, let's take a look at the people also ask section. So I like to read this and find any keyword modifiers that pop out. So this one right here, what is the most basic yoga pose? So basic stands out. Uh, let's see here, uh, reduce belly fat. Reduce stands out to me, everyday stands out, and healthiest stands out. So what you could do is kind of go into that rabbit hole and go really deep in a specific keyword modifier. So let's just say uh, reduce, that one stands out, right? So search for yoga poses reduce. So I searched for that, yoga poses reduce, and follow that same process. So look at these widgets right here. You could see some related keywords, People also search for long tail keywords. So there are 10 listed right here. So yoga poses to reduce anxiety, to reduce stress, to reduce blood pressure, and so on. If you want all the long tail keywords, just click on this button right here and Keywords Everywhere will list them all out to you over here. And it found over 100 long tail keywords. Now you have over a hundred new topic ideas that you can create content around. Because if you go back to the first report and just search for reduce, there are only two right here. Now, when you look at this, you might think that reduce might not be a good keyword modifier, but when we looked at this second report, there are tons of keywords with that reduce as the keyword modifier. You'll also notice some different modifiers too, like relieve stress, uh, let's see, relieve, lower heart rate. So it's not necessarily exact, but you can see some additional related modifiers in this list as well. So I would do this process for every keyword modifier that stands out. So I would do the same for basic. So I would search on Google for yoga poses basic and find the long tail keywords for that search term and get that list and so on. The same thing for every day, also for healthiest, I would follow that same process. I also like to scroll down and look at additional SERP features like right here, so images. So this tells me that Google is preferring images for yoga poses. So when I write a blog article, I definitely want to add images to my articles because people want to see how to do the actual yoga poses. And we can look at the page titles. Let's see. I'm seeing a lot of beginners as a modifier for many of these titles. So you may want to focus on content ideas that revolve around helping beginners learn yoga poses. Here's a list of related searches. So yoga poses with names, yoga poses for one, for two. So use this list right here as well to help you with new content ideas. And lastly, I also like to look at what is listed in the search bar. So you could see yoga poses for two, two people, and you could see the respective search volume and relevant information for each one of these keywords from Keywords Everywhere. This is also an excellent place for you to find additional content ideas. So this is my simple way to find an unlimited number of content ideas for your business using Keywords Everywhere. So hopefully you thought this video was helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thank you so much and we will see you in the next one.